Okay, um, I'm Denise Gagne, and tonight I am really happy to have our guest presenter here, Manju Durai Raj. She teaches in Chicago at the Latin School. She's a wonderful teacher, a wonderful clinician. Um, she was born and raised in India, did a double master's in music education and in math. Was it math? Yes, yes. So Manju is very, very talented and in many areas. Um, we would love to see your faces. So if you don't mind being seen, raise your hand like that and we will be able to see everybody. Otherwise, you are not visible to us. So please raise your hand if you don't mind being seen. And welcome to Manju, who is going to teach us some uh, lessons and activities to do for Diwali. Thank you, Denise. Hi, everybody, and thank you for spending your Wednesday with me. I'm still in my school. I'm in downtown Chicago. The traffic was like an hour and a half to get home, so I am in school right now. So teach your brain at the end of the day. So bear with me, and hopefully we're going to have a lot of fun in the next hour. So Diwali, which is the Festival of Lights, the Indian Festival of Lights, is next week, which is why Denise inv invited me this week to kind of just to go over some of the material that we put up in summer during the Odyssey, and a, just a, a little bit of newer material so that you can just take it straight into your classroom. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to start straight away with some movement because that's what our kids need and that's what we probably need at this time of day. So uh, do this for me. <clears throat> and this is a reprise of one of the songs that I did in summer. It's a greeting song. It's bilingual. But don't worry about all the songs and the lyrics. Just do what I do. OK, so can you give me a right hand, left hand, Clap, right hand, right, left, clap, and right. Right, left, clap, and right, and right, and left, and clap, and right. Now, I'm mirroring this. I don't know what the Zoom looks like for y'all, but when I do it with my children, I always mirror, just so that, so I'm doing my left hand, by the way. Yeah, so hopefully you're doing it with your right hand. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set you up with the ostinato, the movement ostinato. I'm going to start singing something, but you just need to focus on your, on your clapping pattern. All right, here we go. So right, left, clap, and right, and right, and left, and clap, and right, and right, and left, and clap, and right. I'm going to start singing right, left, Clap and here we go. Awu bachu gite kawa ham sab saath hai. Awu bachu khushi manawa ham sab saath hai. Come, my friends, and celebrate. We're together now. Sing and dance and celebrate. We're together now. If you got it, give me a thumbs up. Those of you who are panelists with us, double thumbs up. One more time. This is level one. Here we go. Awo bachyum gite ka wo ham sab saath hai. Awo bachyum khushi mana wo ham sab saath hai. Come my friends and celebrate, we're together now. Sing and dance and celebrate, we're together now. All right, level two. Level two, let's pretend that you have an imaginary partner, okay? I mean, imaginary partner right now as we are learning it. Here we go. You ready? So what we're going to do is right, left, clap, right. I'm going to switch my hands right now because I'm going to do it with my imaginary partner. Here we go. Right, left, clap and right and right, left, clap and right. Come, my friends, and celebrate. We're together now. Sing and dance and celebrate. We're together now. So I did, I did that level one with my, with my partner. Level two is, watch this, right, left, clap. And then when you high five your partner, you're actually going to switch spots with them. So right, left, clap, switch spots. And right, left, clap, switch spots. Awo bachyum gite ka wo ham sab saath hai. Awo bachyum khushi manao wo ham sab saath hai. 
Come, my friends, and celebrate with together now. Sing and dance and celebrate with together now. Give me a thumbs up if you got it really, really well. Very, very cool. Okay, going on to the next level, just adding a little bit of an oomph out there, okay? And the oomph part is you do the right and the left and clap, and as you do the switch places with your high five, see if you can follow through with your body and do a little twirly thingy, okay? So a little twirl. It's not really too much of a twirl. Watch, I'm gonna start on this side. Here we go. Come, my friends, and celebrate with together now. Sing and dance and celebrate with together now. So all I did was a little twirl, but here's the deal. Though I'm following through the direction which my body is going, all right? So it goes right, left, clap, and as I'm doing the high five with my partner, I'm also twirling through to going to go to the other spot. Got that much, people? Double thumbs up? Okay, so here is what we're gonna do. That was the A section. Here is my B section. And the B section, actually, you know what? Let me go back a little bit and tell, talk to you about this. So this is part of the four step Dandia dance. The Dandia dance, Dandia actually means a stick dance, comes from the Gujarati word Dandi for stick. So Dandia is a very popular stick dance from the state of Gujarat, which is in West India, the western part of India by the Gulf of Kutch. And that's where Mahatma Gandhi came from. And this is a really, really popular dance and it's done during the festival of Navratri. And I'll talk a little bit about that after I finish teaching you the whole dance kind of thing, all right? So we are going, these are actually the clapping patterns, but we're actually gonna do it with sticks in just a minute. But before we do that, I just wanna say this is such a popular dance and it has been taken, it's so popular because it's a social dance, it's a mixer dance. So while I said we can do this with a partner, yeah, and then when we do this as a mixer dance, here's what we normally do. It's done in a concentric circle, so you and your partner are standing in two circles. Your partner's maybe inside, you're probably outside. When you kind of switch places, what I showed you for switch places, when you actually do it in the community, you're actually twirling and you're going on to the next partner. Okay, so my inside circle probably will be interacting with me and then they will probably kind of twirl, twirl, and then go to the next per person on your left. Do you get it? So the same thing, my inside partner is doing that. So it's a very big social dance, so you'll have hundreds of people dancing in these big circles, and then just kind of meeting new people. So like I said, this is the basic step. The cool part about the Dandia dance is the music is so like lively, and the dance itself has many steps. So I just taught you the four step, I'm gonna teach you the five step in a minute, but what many people have done, especially collegiate students, they've taken it to the contest level. So even if you kind of Google Dandia contest or collegiate contest, you'll see a lot of college kids doing this. A part of it is choreographed and part of it is the traditional part. Okay, so I'm gonna do something that we can do, keeping in mind that this part is the choreographed part. And for me is, um, I'm gonna keep it simple because we teach very young kids. So we're gonna keep it really simple. So I'm gonna say something like, think of something that gives you joy, that makes you happy. Something that makes you happy. It could be at this time of the evening, maybe like a cup of decaf. So maybe your cup of decaf, maybe something that brings you joy is reading, maybe doing yoga or praying, or for me, uh, something that gives me peace or joy is actually the sound of the wind in the trees. It just gives me so much of joy just to listen to that. It's very calming for me. And the sound of running water. So think of something that brings you joy, that brings you peace, all right? Give me a thumbs up if you think you've got one, at least one. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. Can you make the gesture for me? Um, right now, I'm just gonna do maybe something like, okay, Here's my gesture for flowing water. So can you just flow, 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 freeze? Okay, got it? So get into your gesture, but can you now slow mo find your whole body and get into that final pose? So let's say, 
pose pose okay so that's one thing think of another thing that gives you happiness it could be your little doggy it could be a hug from my now 18 year old he just turned 18 this uh, this week so maybe it would be a hug yeah or something uh, think of something so here's what I want you to do now all right can you walk into that pose so if I was doing my water thing I would go walk 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 pose 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 kind of sort of got the idea i'm going to up up the level out here so here's what i want you to do figure out your starting point all right let's go walk 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 pose walk somewhere else and pose walk back to your spot and pose now really get to your spot and pose kind of sort of got that part a little bit yeah now um a good uh, teaching tip is with my kids we have a class discussion on what gives them joy what gives them happiness we write it out either on my interactive board or whatever, I, we kind of print out. And then my kids can choose one or two from there. Because if your kids are anything like my kids, they will push those boundaries a little bit about what gives them joy and what gives them peace, all right? So having those discussions and having that labeled out there is a good idea, all right? And then they can pick two of those things that they have, and it's, it's child-generated, so you have that because they're, they take ownership of that, all right? So let's kind of add that on, but I'm gonna sing something else. I'm not gonna do walk, walk, walk. I'm gonna sing something else, but you get the concept. Here we go. Shanti, shanti, hmm. Shanti, shanti, hmm. Coming back to my spot. Shanti, shanti, hmm. Shanti, Shanti, I'm ready for my A section. Aavo bachyo ki tikao hum sab saath hai. Aavo bachyo khushi manao hum sab saath hai. Come, my friends, and celebrate with together now. Sing and dance and celebrate with together now. Give me a double thumbs up if you got all that stuff. All right, great. Now we're going to take that and we're going to put it into our sticks because like I said, it's a stick dance. With my kids, if this is where they need to go and they can't have sticks, but because of COVID, nowadays um, the stick is a better idea, by the way. All right, so the air clasp. I don't have my dandia sticks with me because I, like I said before, I was planning to go home and Zoom with you all. But pulley sticks, lummy sticks, rhythm sticks, fire sticks. Okay, that's all fine right now. But um, if you do go back and catch the webinar from the summer, I have my real deal dandia sticks, which are made out of teak wood. And if you see the dancer sticks that you have online, you might see thinner, longer sticks that I have got like pretty fabric around them. And those are more colorful. But remember, they're all nothing but sticks. All right, so it's a stick dance. And as long as I give you two, two sticks, we can do this. So this is the way that four step is going to look when you have sticks. So you go right, left, clap, and right, and right, and left, and clap, and right. Right, and left, and clap, and right. Right, and left, and clap, and right. Aavo bachyo gita gawa hum sab saate hai. Come, my friends, and celebrate with together now. Sing and dance and celebrate with together now. Oh, but how are we going to take a B section now that we have props? Figure out what you need to do to make your B section of whatever water or hug or whatever move into having these props. So figure out how you're gonna work that. So let's explore that for a minute, okay? So here we go. Shanti, Shanti, mm. Shanti, Shanti.
शांति 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 कम बैक टू योर स्पॉट एंड शांति शांति गेट रेडी फॉर द ए एंड आओ बच्चों गीत गाओ हम सब साथ हैं आओ बच्चों खुशी मनाओ हम सब साथ हैं come my friends and celebrate we're together now sing and dance and celebrate we're together now if you got that give me a double thumbs up now you might have noticed that i did my backhand because sometimes you might see more accomplished dancers they actually do the backhand now remember you know your kids best so with my younger kids i just do simple forward forward clap forward okay with your older kids if you want to do that you can do the backhand okay so it's like dum pum pum and twirl and pum pum and then um here's the thing too my footwork it's something it's more of a bouncy step okay it's like a bouncy step if you want to add that in so you might see that happening but with my kids as they're learning the dance it's okay just to keep it very straight because that's adding another layer of difficulty so going step by step by step is really important okay so here's the thing with this particular dance if i'm choreographing it like i said it starts as a mixer dance and then we will have people just doing this for hours and hours and hours going out to eat something and then coming back and joining the whole uh the dance again so that's the traditional part of that but when it's choreographed like what i just did for you i had um the the, the concentric circle i had the four step dandia i had the b section which was kind of your improv or exploration of movement kind of thing and then we came back in there so that section can be more stylistic a lot of people might do a little uh, bollywood shoulder shake kind of thing like that when they do the b section you can add a little bit more kind of things okay so when you look at dances beyond this video and you google things like dandia dance or dandia competitions and things like that you might see a lot of these things but somewhere you might see the four step dandia or the five step dandia or the six step there's a whole there's so many different layers of complexity to this okay so that was my four step dandia one more note before i teach you the five step one is when i do it with my kids like i said i did it the way i taught you in concentric circles just to keep it manageable for my kids if i was just doing it as a regular folk dance i can do the as a mixer dance but if i was choreographing it for, say for a performance or something like that um i would do it in concentric circles where the kids just switch places all right and then the b section they go away from the concentric circle and then they come back and then rejoin with their partner all right so that takes care of the shared space and the general space in a uh, one swoop all right there the other thing that i want to say as at the very end uh, the national flower of india is the lotus so i want to end with a final point where the imagery is like maybe my inside circle is up like this and my outside circle is down like the the petals of a ro uh, the lotus flower kind of thing um so here's what i would do just imagine this in your head so if i was a person on the inside my b section i could probably start with my partner like this but i could do something like shanti shanti hmm okay so that's my first part my outside circle would probably go shanti shanti hmm so by the time i've done those two lines my inside circle faces this way my outside circle faces outside do you get that okay then my third shanti my inside circle will go shanti shanti and they raise their hands and they connect they connect the tips of the stick so that it looks like the the lotus flower the petals so when you just think about the kids going this way all right and my outside circle would go down on the fourth shanti to go shanti to go shanti shanti and then they would go out like this and connect the sticks down and they could go all the way down right so the imagery at the very end is your inside circle is up like this and your outside circle is down like this so it gives you like this whole lotus final point okay so that would be the ending like a coda part of it to kind of round up that whole dance all right so having said that i just showed you the four beat dandia i'm going to show you the five the fi not four beats the four step dandia and uh, this one is the five step dandia that i'm going to show you 
all right? So while the four beat one is usually done in a concentric circle, the five step one is really, really cool. And I wish we were in person because you would love this so much. This one, think about it, as in a, it's in a long way set, okay? And I was thinking I was gonna get Legos to do this, but Denise, at some point in time, I have to do this, um, and we'd probably do this, some kind of animation with this. So think about this. You have two rows of people, okay? Now remember, it's a mixer dance. So here's the deal. How are you gonna mix when you have in two lines? This is really, really cool. So think of the people, um, and there's no top or the bottom of the step, uh, or the set. So you have a long way set, you have the people on the ends here, and then at the bottom you have two people at the ends here, right? So when you switch places, when you're doing the dance, and you switch places, the person on the end here is gonna come over here, and the person on the end here is gonna come over here. But what it does to this whole rotation is instead of going one person, one person to the left, you actually move two people to the left. It just blows your mind. It's just, ooh, the kids just, whoo. So it's really, really, really cool when that happens for the very first time. So watch what happens with the, with the five-step dandia. The five-step dandia is one, then you lean right, and it's almost making a hashtag with your partner. So you strike your partners, who also is leaning right, by the way. So it looks like a hashtag or a sharp sign, and then you lean left, okay? And then you tap your sticks again, and then you do the high five thing or the strike your partner, and then you move to the new person. Okay, so watch again. It's your stick, hashtag this way, hashtag that way, stick, and strike. Strike. And then you just have to wait till you have kind of recovered and you know who your partner is. So watch. But this one, I take a little faster for this particular song. Okay, I'm gonna do it on every beat. So watch this. Come, my friends, and celebrate. We're together now. Sing and dance and celebrate. We're together now. Kind of sort of got it, but it's it's like um this particular song does not translate very well for the five-step dandia, but I wanted to give you an idea about how well how this goes. Because you need a slower fun. You need bum 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 and here we go. Bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum and strike and get recover. So that's your five step dandia. All right. So for this particular song that I showed you, which is a celebration song, it's just we're just gonna stay with a four step dandia. But I wanted to show you those steps. Now, you've heard me sing this so much. I'm gonna do the lyrics for you, and very intentionally, I did not project the lyrics because when we look at the lyrics of a different language. From our lens, we kind of kind of look at it about the languages that we know, and sometimes we impose what we know and our perspective on what it should sound like. All right? So I'm gonna share my screen in just a second, and I'm gonna give you the lyrics, and I want you to kind of listen to my pronunciation, and then you're gonna sing it with me, and I'll tell you the translation in just a minute. So I'm gonna share my screen, Oh, uh, Carolyn, I need, I need sharing permission. But um, say the word for me while Carolyn is kind of working on that. Here is what we're gonna do. Okay, say awo, awo, which means come, bacho, which is children. So awo bacho means come children. Awo bacho, geet, geet means song. So say geet. Gao, which means sing. So, Awo Bacho, Geet Gao, which means come children, sing songs. Hum, which means all of us. Sub, which means uh, hum is we, sub is all of us, are together. Sat he, sat means together, he is now. So, Awo Bacho, Geet Gao, hum sub sat he. 
And the second line is Aavo Bacho Kushi, which means happy. Manao means make merry. Hum sab saath hain means we are together now. All right, so come my friends and celebrate. We're together now, and then we have the Shanti part of it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to sing it one last time so that you can see the words, and then you can have the recording with you for the sound too. Aavo Bacho Gite Kao Hum sab saath hain. Come, my friends, and celebrate. We're together now. Sing and dance and celebrate. We're together now. Shanti, Shanti, hmm. Shanti, Shanti, hmm. Shanti, Shanti. Mm, shanti, shanti, mm. So, if we were in person, we would have done a whole orchestration on the ORF instruments, but we're not going to do that now in the, because we only have an hour and I have two more really cool things that I want to share with you. So, that's the pronunciation, and um, what, um, what Denise and the Music Play team is going to do is you're going to have the notation with you too, with the orchestration in there. So, I'm going to put this particular piece to rest and I'm going to move on to the next one. But before I do that, I just wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about these three fall festivals. And um, in Up on Music Play, you'll have a little more detail about this, but I'll just skim over it for you right now. Okay, so we did the song that we first, that I just shared with you, this one, is just an all season song. It's just, we're together, it's a greeting song, hello everybody, let's celebrate because we're together. So it's a bilingual song in Hindi and in English. Shanti means peace. All right, so the next one that, um, actually, you know what? Let me do one more song and then I'll teach you, um, I'll go a little bit about the festivals too. So I do a whole bunch of greeting songs and for me, good pedagogy is when you go from something, the knowledge that the kids have, and then you have laid the foundation for new knowledge to stick to the old knowledge. So it could be something like, Hello somebody, hello somebody, hello somebody, hello somebody. So it's like my greeting song. For example, it could be, hello Nathan, hello Denise, hello Carolyn, hello everybody. So something like acknowledging every child, that's one way to do it. Or taking it to the next level like, hello Manju, and then Manju would probably sing, hello Ms. Raraj, the teacher. So taking that as a call and response, that would be great. Another level to do it is like, hello Manju, and Manju would say, hello Ms. Raraj, and then she probably will say, hello Kiran, and Kiran will say, hello Manju. So it could be a tag team, it could also be an assessment, but hey, we're playing games out here, forget about assessments and stuff. But that's what we do, assessing through games. All right. Here's the thing, this particular song came about like many of us uh, teachers do, is like on the spur of the moment, my kids were just kind of goofing and not goofing around, they were doing something and I just was made up a little song about somebody and everybody wanted a song about them. So I just said, hello so and so, hello so and so, and then I came to a girl, a child whose name was Kiran, and Kiran means a ray of light, all right? So I thought, you know what, Kiran, and then somebody, Kiran said, you know what, my mom's name is Jyoti which also means light. So I said, okay, let's make up this song. Jyoti te, Jyoti te, Jyoti te, Jyoti te, which means give light, all right? And then I said, to Kiran, Jyoti te, to Denise, Jyoti te, to Carolyn, Jyoti te, to everybody, Jyoti te, which means give light. And I think it was a nice song to go for this time of year, which is like we're going to have Diwali's being celebrated next week on the 4th of November here. All right, so I just wanted to sing that song for you. And it's very, very simple. And like I said, it's a call and response song. So it could be if I sing Jyoti Te, you sing Jyoti Te, that's your first response. Jyoti Te, the second response is Jyoti Te. So there are two responses here, all right? Here's my call. Jyoti Te, Jyoti Te, Jyoti Te, Jyoti Te. No matter what I sing, you stick with those two responses, okay? Mane Mane Me, Jyoti Te, Dil Dil Me, Jyoti Te, Ghar Ghar Me, 
ज्योति दे देश देश में ज्योति दे so what it actually means is give light and light could mean like it could be literally light or it could be meta metaphorically the light of knowledge the light of peace the light of togetherness the light of um you know just that feeling of uh, let me give you a thing a lot of times it's so difficult to translate a word that occurs in your own native language into english because the beauty of that word or phrase gets lost in translation all right so it's this feeling of okay enlightenment kind of thing or just being having light so light could mean so many different things so again i'm going to do this one more time and just get this in your head jyoti day day is to give so it could be something here we go jyoti te jyoti te jyoti te jyoti te man man me jyoti te दिल दिल में ज्योति दे घर घर में ज्योति दे देश देश में ज्योति दे वेरी सिंपल सॉन्ग मन मन में मीन्स मन मीन्स माई माइंड मे इज इन सो इन एवरी माइंड इन ईच माइंड गिव लाइट दिल दिल में मीन्स इन ईच हार्ट गिव लाइट घर घर में मीन्स इन ईच होम गिव लाइट देश देश में मीन्स इन एवरी नेशन गिव लाइट so the literal translation is this all right so let me do this one more time so you have the words in your brain here okay man man me jyoti te dil dil me jyoti te ghar ghar me jyoti te desh desh me jyoti te you need some kind of body percussion out here and in my country we have a lot of these metallic things so um if we were if i was home i would have done uh, this with an instrument called a kartal which is like a wood block and a tambourine mixed together but i'm in school so maybe so let's sing this whole song again okay i'll give a little bit of an accompaniment my kids could do a two level um body percussion thing like this okay they could just do um a clap or a snap or something and i think um and music play we already have this up there okay here we go my turn Actually, you know what? Let's all sing it together. Here we go. Jyoti de, Jyoti de, Jyoti de, Jyoti de. Man man me, Jyoti de. Dil dil me, Jyoti de. Ghar ghar me, Jyoti de. Desh desh me, Jyoti de. Jyoti de, Jyoti de, Jyoti de, Jyoti de. The end. That's so simple. Okay it's a very small short little greeting song but hey if you don't have much time with the kids and diwali is coming up this is the simplest little song but again like the other the previous song it can be done any time of year because it's not necessarily at this particular time of year all right so i'm going to move on and like i said we have all the notation for you and i think we have some uh interactives for you so very quickly let me just talk about navratri nav means nine ratri means uh, nights navratri is a festival that is celebrated in um different parts of the country in different ways but usually in the states of gujarat and in the states of west bengal it literally means nine avatars of a hindu goddess durga and there's a lot of celebrations that go along at that time so the dances of garba and dandiya usually occur during that time is usually celebrated around that time then right at the end of navratri is the festival of dashera again the historical um, the origins of that festival are depending on the region of the country that you are from it might vary a little bit so that was on the 15th of october none of these dates are set um and they, they are set for every year it's a rotating uh, um dates according to the lunar calendar the hindu calendar now diwali is literally means a row of lights or deepavali as it's known in southern part of india it's a really significant festival for a lot of people now i grew up in india and my parents my family is very catholic but because you are in that nation like everybody celebrates diwali because a you get a good break for a while for a few days but it's like this festival where you kind of burst a lot of crackers you like the fireworks a lot of fireworks there's a lot of sharing of sweets and nuts and fruits and uh, presents and gifts and stuff so it's a very festive season and 
everywhere there are lights. There are like diyas, those little lamps. Those diyas are lit everywhere. So it's a festival of lights. So I'm not going to really talk very much about it because I know we have very little time. And I do want to do one more piece, which is a little more complicated. And I do did want to get that in your brains and in your heads um, and in your ears before we leave today. OK, so I'm going to kind of really talk to you a little bit about sargam which is like the, the syllables, the pitch syllables in Indian music. We're not going to talk about ragas and talas and stuff like that because that is something that needs a lot more experience and exposure and a lot of training to actually be singing these pitches in the context of a raga. The absolute pitches, um, we don't have the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. We do have the syllables, though, the sa, ri, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni, sa. Yeah, but when it's put into the context of a raga, each one of these syllables, these swaras, uh, now is ornamented in a different way. There are a lot of microtones ornamentation that goes on within the mood and context of a raga. All right, so for this particular piece that I'm about to do with you, um, the, it's going to have a little bit of the sargam in it which is our solfege. Sargam is sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni, sa. It's just those five syllables, sa, re, ga, ma, the first four, sargam. That's the way the word came up. But here's what I want you to do. I'm going to, I'm going to sing you a piece, but I want you to do, as you listen to this piece, I want you to do a little bit of body percussion. And this is very intentional body percussion. Um, and not so much about the body percussion, but the grouping of beats is really, really important. So what I want you to do right now is can you go clap? Let me just do it first, okay? Pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. It's in five. Very slowly. I'm going to sing a song. Just keep this pattern going. Pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. Shubha kame na saathiyo na chor kao Aaj tiwali hai, tiwali hai Celebrate the victory, decorate your homes, my friends Light the earth and fireworks I messed it up. I messed it up because I was so focused on the on the body percussion. Okay? So my syllables were all wonky. Not really all, just a few of them. Listen to this again. And I'll try and get this right. Okay? Um, the thing is, I'm trying to break it down for y'all. Um, and that's what's messing me up because I'm trying to think more in the Western mindset out here. All right, listen to this. Sa re ga ma pa pa pa. Sa re ga ma ta 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 pa ma pa ni ni ni. Sa ni ta pa ma ga ri ni sa. All right. So that was your set of five. Look at this. Okay. Can you do? I'm going to put all this together in just a minute, all right? So here's what I want you to do. I'm not going to show you any of this stuff yet because I don't want, I would just want you to focus on what I'm doing here. I'm going to do the same pattern. One, pat, clap, pat, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. That's my whole pattern, okay? That's my whole 10 beat pattern. Watch this. Pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. Pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. Got the pattern? Tell me what I'm doing different. Put that in the chat. Put it in the chat about what I'm doing different. Pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. Pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. Pat, clap, pat, pat, clap. What did I do different? Okay, here we go, the snaps. Okay, watch what I'm doing. Shubha kame na satiya na chor kao Aaj tihi bali hai, tihi bali hai Celebrate the victory, decorate your homes, my friends Light the hours and fireworks, tihi bali's here Sare kama pa pa pa, 
Sari da pa pa ta ta sa pa ma pa ni 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 sa ni da pa ma ga ri ni sa. Let me do that again. So sari ga ma pa, listen to it. Sari ga ma pa pa pa, sari ga ma ta 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 pa ma pa ni 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 sa ni da pa ma ga ri ni sa. You try and do the body percussion and the singing together, people, and then you'll decide, you'll figure out where I'm going crazy. Okay, so let me say the words for you. And if you realized, it's actually in 10, it's not really five, but for our convenience, I put it in five for you. All right, so here's what I'm going to do sing the song, um, say the words for me, after me. Shubha Kamana. Shubha Kamana, which means Shubha means good or pure. Kamana is wishes. So Shubha Kamana was good wishes. Satya is my companions. Nacho is to dance. Oragao means and sing. Sing and dance. Aaj Diwali hai means today's Diwali. Diwali hai. Shubha Kamana Satya Nacho Oragao Aaj Diwali hai. Diwali hai. Celebrate the victory. Decorate your homes, my friends. Light the oars and fireworks. Diwali's here. Sare gama pa pa pa. Sare gama ta ta ta. Ta pa ma pa ni ni ni. Sa ni ta pa ma ga ri ni sa. All right. So the sar gum that I put for you is right here. And here's the body percussion, the whole pattern. So can you say the words for me? The the little words that I have is dinna, di dinna, dinna, di dinna. Say that for me. Dinna, di dinna, dinna, di dinna, dinna, di dinna, dinna, di dinna. So see if you can see have this pattern going. And I'll sing the song one more time so that you have it in your ear. All right? So hopefully the visual is going to help you. All right? Here we go. Shubha Kamana Satya Naha Chohor Kao Aaj Diwali Hai Diwali Hai Celebrate the victory Decorate your homes, my friends Light the hours and fireworks here. Did you get that? All right. So um, that is the song portion of it. And the reason you can do it isolated from the body percussion. You can just do the body percussion and in and, and simple fives if you want to. But if you really want to take this into the drums part of it, watch what I want you to do. Okay? The dhina, di dhina, dhina. The din now you probably have figured this out. So you can do a bass tone, bass, bass tone, 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 bass, bass tone. That is your drumming ostinato. All right. So here is what you could do. Let me just show that with you. Here we go. Um. So it could be one. Are broken up okay so if you have a tin now then now that's the reason I my levels of body percussion if you notice that could transfer into your drumming this is a multi multi lesson thing you can't do it in one lesson y'all all right so either if you're practicing on the drumming um, my body percussion is translating into the drumming. So it's your bass, tone, bass, bass, tone, 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 bass, bass, tone. You can actually, um, the reason I'm changing this up here is because you can make it a different timbre or a different sound. All right? So that's the reason, I, that's my rationale for the body percussion out there. Okay? So if you're using a cajon, it probably would go... Um, Not so fast though. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and sing and play it at the same time. Here we go. Celebrate the victory. Decorate your homes, my friends. Let the earth and fireworks be Bali's here. Not that much? All right, so let me show you if you want.
want to see what it sounds like, um, I'm going to change a couple of slides out here. And then hopefully, this will give you context out here. All right, see if you can either stay with the song for me, or if you want to do the drumming pattern, you can do it on your legs. Yeah. All right, so you could probably do a dinna, di, dinna, dinna, di, dinna, dinna, di, dinna, dinna, di, dinna. All right, so put your bass down here, and then the tone up here, and then you can kind of play along with me here. All right, I'm going to do the best I can at the end of the day, y'all. Here we go. One, two, let's just do the pattern first. Dinna. easier for you to see me. So the bass is going to go, I'm just going to keep it with my left hand right now. It's very difficult not to alternate, but follow this hand. Here we go. will go Here we go. And you have this. And so in um, the thing, I probably kind of sang the whole thing for you. Celebrate the victory. Decorate your homes, my friends. Light the earth and fireworks. The Bali's here. Sare gama pa pa pa. Sare gama ta ta ta. Ta pa ma pa ni ni ni. Sani ta pa magarini. And then the improv um, on the bard instruments. The next section just immediately can take it up. Da 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 da. Improvise. Da 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 da. Improvise. Now the third measure you can either stay with the da 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 da, or if you want to kind of stay with the, the what the kids have been singing vocally is pa 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 pa. You can do that and then come back at the end. Da 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 da. da. All right. So that in a nutshell is what that piece should look like. And like I said, you can just do the song by itself. You can add the ostinato, 
or you can totally remove that. You don't need to put in that, the drumming ostinato, but I wanted to show you that particular pattern. If you wanted to just have a vocal ostinato, I just having the kids go dinna 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 so maybe one group could just be chanting that part while another group sings okay so that is what i wanted to share with you today um, and I think I have about seven minutes, and I'm going to give it back to Denise. So thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope these three little pieces are going to uh, serve you well in the coming weeks and the months. So thank you for having me, Denise. Oh, we loved having you, Manju. I did all these pieces with you in the summer, and I have to say um, I needed two times through them. So uh, I love that we've got the, the webinars recorded. I'm going to share screen and show where the Diwali unit is on Music Play Online so that everybody that's with us will know. So there's Music Play Online, go into units, and I can isolate festivals and holidays, but I know that Diwali, it's alphabetical. So Diwali is here. So we have... Um, a biography. Here's the first song that Manju did, and we have Manju teaching the movements. And Manju teaching the song about the word Om and the pronunciation. And here is the lyric slides, and you've got the vocals with it. So everything that Manju did today is here. Jyoti Day. I would not be able to do this by myself, but with Manju's help, I can teach. Jyoti. It's it's just made it so easy for you to go through and do it. Information about the fall festivals, Navrati. Did I say it right? Does Dishera, Dishera and Diwali is here. Here's the Dandia stick dance, the movements for the fourth step, some teaching notes, and again the concept slides here, and then the piece in 5-4, which will be a wonderful challenge piece for your fifth and sixth graders. Um, that will that will really, um, I'm sure, challenge them. So I'm going to stop sharing and see if we have any questions for Manju while we have her here with us. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so these are from the chat. Um, I don't know, Manju, if you've seen them, but I will just read them out and <laughs> you can go for it. So when you were doing the drumming, sargam, right? No, just drumming is not the sargam. No. Uh, but thank right. you for doing that because the sargam is the solfet syllables or whatever the pit, swaras. Sarigama pa, sarigama pa, 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 which is very deliberately, I put that into the music so that we can practice and it's all stepwise. So even when the kids are improvising, whether they, and the reason the Dorian scale is so cool, let me retrieve my recorder, by the way. Um, is like, even, if the kids just know, <laughs> even if the kids just know the B, A, and the G on the top, that's fine if they want to add the high, high D and the high C. So, da, da. and like I said, the first question, it could be a question and answer, like Denise was going da, 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 and I could probably go, okay? That's something like that. So, my kids could probably do a da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Not that they would do that, but um, you could, the, the fact that I would have it on the barred instruments, it's all stepwise. So the improvisation should be stepwise too. All right? So the sargam is very much the pitches, the, 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 the bowl for the drum, the bowl for the drum is very intentional. Okay? It's the 10, it's the thing in 10, the D is the bass, na is the tone, thin na could be a slap or a rim tone, which is why it's a little different, which is why I put it up here, okay? So everything that is done is very, very intentional. It's not like a, hello, let's just do this. No, every part of that piece, in fact, all my pieces, is very, very intentional. It goes straight from the body percussion. Even the syllables are very, very intentional. The way the music and the phrases and the swaras are arranged, very intentional for our kids to be successful, stepwise movement. Yeah, or basically going up here, just one jump. 
All right. I hope that Perfect. is a question. You actually you. answered all the other questions. So yeah. great job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being here. And thank you, Carolyn, for coordinating everything. And thank you, Denise, so much for having me. Okay. I, we're, we're delighted to have you. Our uh, next week's webinar is going to be on holiday programs because we pretty much have to start in November if we're going to do a holiday program. And I will be sure to include ideas for non-singing holiday programs because we still have many, many schools where people can't, uh, can't sing. So we've got some new programs that are going on to Music Play Online. We have a Sacred and we have a, a Santa. Um, both going on to music play online there. It's really fun. It's I'll explain next week. But thank you so much Manju for staying late, late, late at school to share this with us. Um, I hope you aren't starving to death. I hope you have a smooth drive home through the traffic at this time of day. And we so appreciate not just the webinar, but all the materials that we now have to teach Diwali to our students. I don't know if you know Sonia Patel. She's from uh, Nashville and she's an amazing, amazing music teacher. She teaches, um, I'm just blown away by Sonia's talents. And of course she celebrates Diwali as well. And she's delighted that we have Diwali on here. I know my daughter teaches in a community with a lot of Indian students and she's excited because now there's something that these kids uh, recognize. We want the kids to recognize themselves on our on our website and in all the different areas that we have so thank you so much everybody for coming tonight and oh so many in seattle too it's it yes we need this we need this very very much and you've done a really good job of teaching and everybody can go back now to the webinar and review if the uh, steps aren't but i think the steps are covered really well in the unit so thank you so much, everybody. Thank I hope you. you have a great rest of your week.